Hello everyone. Today I will give you some glimpse about action research in an easier way. And we will start with understanding gap analysis. But before that, let me ask you, do we really need action research? To answer that, we have to remember, behind learner success in school is a good teacher, a person who has sense of care, love, and belongingness, despite of his or her huge personal struggles in life. It is true that teaching is an art of bringing meaning to the lives of learners. But how do you know what is actually working? One best option is action research. Today, you will learn how to formulate a good research title using gap analysis that enable you to dissolve barrier between your theoretical background and actual teaching practices. But why we need to dissolve that barrier? And that is absolutely because classroom is an avenue of diverse learners with different learning styles and developmental levels. And that made teaching learning process sometimes difficult and mostly unpredictable. And our desire to help learners master the learning competencies fueled most educators to do action research. Action research is a practical study which aims to conduct an immediate action to solve a specific problem or any problem within the scope of teacher's roles and responsibilities or within his or her additional special assigned tasks in the school. That is done through collaborative effort to improve the quality of performance or achievement of the learners in the school. And the following reflective questions will help you determine the main root of classroom problems. First, what hinders the mastery of the lessons? Second, is it really the capacity of the learners that blocked the attainment of learning objectives? Third, do teaching styles and strategies address learners' diversity? Fourth, is it the learner's attitude, self-esteem, or level of motivation that delays the mastery of the learning competencies? Fifth, do actual activities make the class interactions lively and dynamics? Sixth, do teachers provide conducive, friendly, and nurturing classroom environment? And lastly, are the learning objectives sound attainable? If teachers have those questions in their mind at least once in their teaching career, they are already doing gap analysis and they can be a potential researcher. Gap analysis in action research is the practical examination through supported data of identified problems. For example, there are 60 enrolled learners in the class. At the end of the quarter period, there are only 45 learners who passed the subject. The actual gap is the 15 learners who failed in the subject. Same goes with other areas in the classroom. If there are 20 out of 60 learners who are reciting in the class, the gap is the 40 learners who are not participating in the recitation. If there are 60 learners in the section and only 45 learners are coming on time in the first subject in the morning, the gap is the 15 learners who always come late. Now, to help you reflect for the possible problem that you already encountered in your classroom, I presented to you the list of problems and possible solutions. For the identified problems, we have low achievement, poor academic performance, lack of motivation and self-esteem, poor intrapersonal and interpersonal skills, negative self-concept, absenteeism, tardiness, and financially challenged learners. For the possible solutions, we have 21st century teaching pedagogies like collaborative, cooperative, integrative, reflective, inquiry-based, differentiated instruction, game-based learning, and other strategies under constructivism approach. Psychological approaches, sponsorship, behavioral modification contract, and counseling techniques. And once you identified already your classroom problem and possible solution to address that problem, you are now ready to craft your research title. Always remember that research title should be within the researcher's interest and field of specialization, practical, and addresses the needs of the learners. 
is specifically presented, measurable using research instruments, either standardized or researcher-made, objectively stated using appropriate statistical methods, realistic based on the transparency of collected data free from any manipulation, within the scheduled time frame, and free from any personal moral judgment. And these are the examples of research titles. First, the effects of cooperative reflective learning approach on learners' achievement and self-concept, Arsenas 2017. Cite me, language of psychological approaches on learners' productivity of producing research outputs, Arsenas 2018. Filling the gap in comprehension skills, increasing learners' vocabulary through word mapping. Mastery of science concepts through collaborative content-based approach. Improving learners' numeracy skills through the utilization of game-based teaching method. And when you do action research, I want you to innovate your innovation, intervention, or teaching strategy because meaningful learning is making your learners up and out from their chairs by your Senas 2017. And during the midst of pandemic, true learning is understanding content and doing activities joyfully in the absence of physical interactions by our Senate 2020. Before I'll end this short video presentation, let me read you this poem entitled, A Researcher's Voice. Discovering something you don't know yet, searching the answer you don't even have a clue, is a researcher's mission, a vision to fulfill, a duty for real. Still awake till midnight comes, composing ideas in sleepless times. Deciding for a topic that sounds like stress is nothing but a grasping of success. Originality is an honor. Plagiarism is a disgrace. At first, you will be confused, but following research ethics, you'll get used to it. Research is a challenge, but when you embrace and treasure it, your intention will become louder and clearer, and that is a researcher's voice. So to my friends and colleagues in education, I am challenging you to do gap analysis in the midst of pandemic. Just try to think about the role of school in pandemic crisis, or how students may cope after the pandemic, or how online teaching might affect the quality of instruction or even how this pandemic might affect the whole being of most students nowadays. Everyone, thank you for listening and watching.